is Keisha and Mo. We're back with a new episode of Since You Ask. Get ready. New questions. All right, let's go. Hey, Keisha and Mo, you can call me Rose. I'm a 20-year-old college student living away from home, so here's my issue. My ex and I have been on and off for three years. Last Labor Day weekend, he came to my off-campus apartment and stayed since we had an extra day off. So after going out and enjoying each other's company, we went back to my apartment and began getting intimate. So after a little foreplay, we began having sex and everything was going great until all of a sudden he said he had to use the bathroom. He left and came back a few minutes later and put back on his boxes. I was like, is that it? Like Alicia did Mike on the wood when he only lasted two minutes. He was like, my bad, I've been smoking too much and my shit got soft. This has never happened before. I don't know what to do. He is the first and only person I've ever had sex with, so I don't know if weed or alcohol has these effects when too much is consumed. I don't think he's cheating. Should I say something to him or wait to see if it happens again before saying something? Oh, he's also 20, so age isn't an issue. I would just wait and see if it happens again because it does happen. It don't matter because he's 20 years old. Uh, I've been in a situation... Not like that, but I've been in a situation where I was <laughs> a little young gentleroni and was fucking with a nigga that was 20 and we was about to fuck and he was too afraid and couldn't get it up. And like he damn near was like in tears, like in the corner. And I was like 16, 17 years old at the time and had put this look, this grown ass motherfucking man in the corner because he was so excited he couldn't, you know, get it going. So um, I would just say, see if it happens again. Now, if it happens again, you might need to think about some things because he might be out here fucking somebody. But a uh, good way to know if your nigga's cheating, just check them ball sacks on the regular. That motherfucker's depleted. That motherfucker is... <sighs> he didn't even jerked off or he to fuck somebody. Either way, y'all got some issues. So, uh... I think he got BD. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say like, he, can't, he had crabs or something. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like you said, y'all hadn't been around each other for a minute. So he was excited. That's what I'm, I'm getting from it. I mean, if he can't put that, the last thing you need to be thinking is he doing something with somebody else, cause yeah, somebody. He just I mean, bust. He was excited. He busted up real quick. He probably was hella embarrassed. Aww. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you know. Let me tell you something, honey. Bunches about what you, when you need to be concerned is when y'all fucking and y'all fucking and y'all fucking and he still ain't game. That's when he to fuck somebody, cause he didn't already got it out. So, he bust the nut real quick. That just means he liked what he was getting and he was excited. But now, if it continues to happen, because it seems like y'all must be new to having sex with each other. Now, if it continues to happen and he busts real quick, he's a person that nuts really fast. My baby daddy, unfortunately, was one of those people who nutted really quick. And he was confident. I remember that motherfucker used to be like, yeah, I nut real quick, and so what? <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. But, so, he just might be that guy. You never know. So, let's see if it happens again. But make sure you wrap it up and be safe because we don't want you getting pregnant and catch nothing. Be safe because motherfuckers out here be doing some shit. I know well, you not to say though because you probably don't ever see him for real, do you? Yeah, so, yeah, just see, you know, if it continues to happen, be concerned. But it was just the first time. He hadn't seen you in a minute. He was excited. But don't hold it against him. Now, if it keeps on happening, he might be one of them niggas that shoot quick and you just gonna have to be prepared and ready to go. <laughs> time for that dick. And bust quick with him, so... Make if he Might is get a head start. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I was just gonna say if he is, if it does continue to happen, which I don't think that it is. I think it was just a one time thing. But if he is one of those guys, you might have to really make sure that y'all start doing a lot of foreplay, and you start getting your rocks off then. And then when penetration to come time, you just be like, all right, nigga, you got yours. But uh, you too young to be worried about all that anyway. You 20, worry about them school books. Don't be worried about that dick. Um, let us know what happens though. Next question. Hey, Keisha and Mo, don't mention my name. It's been long, but everything is an important detail. Me and my fiance have been together for four years, and I keep pushing back the wedding date. I had an extreme overbite that I was very insecure about until 2011 when I finally got a good paying job and what I thought were great benefits. I went to the dentist to fix my overbite. After the evaluation, I know this sounds like too many details, but they are important. The insurance verification and examination, they told me it would take three years of braces to correct the situation. I asked about veneers and they told me that because of my overbite, veneers would simply add to the problem. I asked what could I do to fix it in a short amount of time and they said the only way was to yank out my teeth, break my jaw, and insert dental implants. I, like a dumbass, agreed. Girl, how did you do that? 
They yanked my teeth out, gave me temporary dentures, and told me to come back in two weeks for the implants and jaw re reconstruction would come later. When I went back, they told me that my insurance only paid for 12 implants. I need 28, so needless to say, I couldn't afford the difference. I ended up paying for a customized set of dentures and started to save up to afford my dental implants. In 2012, I met my fiance. I would put my dentures in a oh shit in a cup under the bed to clean and put on my temporary dentures whenever I would sleep. Fast forward to last year and we moved in together. I always kept my dentures in a McDonald's bag under the bed whenever he would sleep. One morning I woke up and he was cleaning up the house and accidentally threw my daytime dentures away. I freaked out and started an argument so I could sleep at my mom's for the night. I need my temps and my customized dentures to hide this from him. I have to clean my other set at night so I left with one set means I would be gummy in the bed with him and don't want him to see me like that. I still haven't been able to save up the money because whenever I get close, an emergency bill comes along. I've been staying at my mother's for about two months and not going home because I can't afford another set. My fiance is mad because he doesn't understand why I won't come home and I could feel him pulling away. I don't want to lose him. He is such a good guy. He focused. He's focused. He's ambitious and very loving. I've been applying for night jobs just to speed up the process, but even then it'll be a while until I have enough money to pay for it. How do I tell him I've been hiding this from him the whole time? I don't know how he'll take it. I love him so much. Please help. Girl, you better tell him. Because the longer it takes for you to tell him, the longer you have to stick with him, the worse it's going to be when you find Because he's going to find out. Do you think that you're, gonna, you're really going to spend the rest of your life with somebody and he's not going to know that you have interest? Yeah, and I mean, it's not like you just out here gummy. You had a reason why you did it. Although, young lady, instead of just waiting and getting the damn braces, you should have just got the braces. Why were you so in a rush? Like, three years ain't shit. Shit, you would have been right by now. Like, Monique had braces. They don't mean shit. Didn't you have braces? Girl, I was cute as hell. My yeah, life. like, people being cute with braces. I hate, I hate that you did what you did, but you already did it now. But you need to tell him, because let me tell you something. My last boyfriend wasn't shit. But baby, when I got sick, and my situation was way worse than yours, I got sick, had to have emergency surgery where I almost died. They had to cut my stomach open. I have a, a long scar going from underneath my titties past my navel. They had to cut me open. I had to fix my intestine. Woke up with a colostomy bag that I had to have a colostomy bag for six months. I had to shit out my stomach for six months of my life while I had a boyfriend. And I was so afraid that he was going to leave me because I wasn't going to be sexually desirable. I couldn't have sex with him. Couldn't do nothing. But I can tell you one thing. That nigga wasn't shit, but that nigga stood by my side through that whole entire process. Made sure he helped me change my fucking uh, bags and everything else. Was here uh, waiting on me hand and foot. Made sure everything was fine. So you never know how a person will react to certain things. And you just have indentures, tell that man, if he don't accept you, that's telling you a lot right there now that he ain't going to stick beside you when things get tough and situations that may happen in the future where, say, for instance, you get in a situation like I was in, those are te a testament of how a relationship is supposed to be and how it ain't supposed to be. If motherfucker going to stick beside you through thick and thin, that says you a lot. So if he can't accept you for this little flaw, then that tells you a lot and that you don't want to marry that motherfucker because he ain't going to be there for you when times really get hard and you need somebody to lean on. That ain't what you want. Tell and more him. more importantly, you accept this little flaw. You yeah. Something that's very insecure about you for you to have not wanted to wait three years because there is no way in hell I would have had them people. I mean, it ain't nothing you can do about it now, but that's extreme. Yeah. And believe it or not, three years is how long it would take for the complete process. Your teeth start shifting almost immediately when you get braces. Yeah, look how pretty Monique teeth down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you got to figure out what's going on with you. Why you so ashamed of this at this point? Because, let me tell you something. So you might you might tell him he might help you. Exactly. He, he might give you the money. He might want to speed up. He might be, I'm going to keep it all the way 100. He might be a little turned off. But he probably going to give you that coin and her get this shit fixed. You never know why you sitting up here struggling. That motherfucker help you. Give you the check to finish the shit. Who knows? But even if that ain't... how long had it been since he threw the shit away? You can go out there and get him. Yeah, no, why you just run outside and go get him? Did we have the trash already been taken out? But anyway, he, you know what would be funny if this nigga already knew? What if they ain't even... In, what if they just... You had a, why don't you put him in a McDonald's bag? <laughs> <Like> <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's my retainer. Yeah, like I wouldn't put it in a no McDonald's bag. That was and I know that shit costs way more than a retainer, girl. 
You can't put that in no deck. Man, you, mm. got to, you got to come clean because how yeah. you going to your marriage for secrets? You yeah, you got it. to tell him what's going on. And prayfully, he's not a douchebag and he accepts you for exactly who you are. And it'd be funny if this nigga knew the whole time and just didn't say nothing because he won't embarrass you. But you need to tell him and see where everything goes. Prayfully, he loves you through it. But you got to accept the situation that you're in right now and be like, dentures or no dentures, I'm going to get this shit fixed eventually and I'm going to be straight. Cause you gotta love yourself through it. Because I'm gonna be honest with you in the beginning, Monique knows I cried and I was like, I ain't gonna go nowhere. He ain't gonna like me. I'm ugly. Shit, I cried when, before there. she came up out of her little sleep. When they when they told me about, it, I was like, oh damn. <laughs> they didn't tell me. I had they I had to find out. I had a whole colostomy bag from the doctors. These motherfuckers were too afraid to tell me. They knew I was gonna be fucked up, and I was fucked up about it for about a good three <laughs> weeks. This nigga gonna be on suicide watch. Jesus, please. I was on suicide watch about three weeks. Then after that, I got over it. And I, that's when I started doing YouTube videos because I was in the house that had shit else to do. And I was on this motherfucker doing whole makeup tutorials and everything else. And it was like, yep, I got a colossal bag and what? Because I knew it wasn't going to last forever. This is not your life. This is not a permanent part of your life. So accept it and move on from it. But tell him the truth and let us know what happens. I bet you get your teeth fixed. And y'all hear him get married. She get on his insurance. Girl. But like we said, if he don't accept you, that lets you know everything you need to motherfucking know now. And if he's such a good guy, I don't see him fine. I mean, he already now. If this was something before, like when you was a girlfriend, the first six months or some shit like that, there might be a different story. But he already loves and care for you. You wanna know why, girl? You better go get your good man. Shit, take your ass home. I wouldn't be surprised if this nigga know, or it got an inkling of something going on with your mouth. Cause dentures look different from regular teeth. Mm -hmm. So he probably already is like, something going on with teeth, I just don't know what. And he probably don't want to ask you to make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You never know. I probably don't want to offend you. Because I can tell when people have dentures in their mouth. And I ain't got no problem with it. If them motherfuckers look better than what you had in your mouth, <laughs> right. I'm all for it. But, uh, yeah. So, next question. Hey, Keisha and Mo. My name is... Oh, I thought this was some nigga you knew. Hey. My name is Dennis from Washington, D.C. First, I'd like to start by saying that you two are fucking amazing. Love watching y'all. Hashtag hilarious. Hashtag inspirational. Hashtag bad bitch. Yeah. We are. <laughs> 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 like Kiki. Kiki's makeup tutorial. Okay, I'm a late fan of yours, but a fan nonetheless. My first time seeing your videos was with your review on Beyonce's Lemonade visual album. And girl, that video gave me all my life. That shit was the best critique ever. LOL. Thank you, boo boo. Anyway, to give some background on my situation, I'm a 24 black, same gender, loving male. What that mean? Same gender, loving male. He's gay. Oh, I knew, I knew, I figured he was gay by the way he talked, but I didn't know the same gender part. And I've happily been in a relationship with a great guy to whom I'm in love with. We've been in a relationship for nine months now, almost a year. He's 27, by the way. Before him in the past, I can say that, yeah, I was promiscuous. And even now, being in this monogamous relationship, I really like having sex. Only thing is, my boyfriend's sex drive isn't as high as mine is. He's one of those dudes who say, I don't need every day, or saying, I, just being around you is enough. And he'll sex me up when he sees I'm being sexually neglected. But it's nothing like those late nights when he's in the mood. Then he puts some eggplants and licking faces, and we didn't need that. <laughs> Trust me, I've been faithful, and he's the only person I've had or want to have sex with. But sometimes, because of my stamina, I want it almost every day or maybe a couple times a day. Shaking my head, oh well. Um, I know that his sex drive and level of intimacy has diminished because of his ex from his last relationship. So I'm going to make this a deal breaker because I love him outside of physical stimulation. I don't want this to be a problem in the future, nor do I want my baby to think he can't pleasure me just because he lacks my ideal porn <laughs> star stamina. My question is, y'all, how can I increase my boyfriend's sex drive? Or am I wrong for trying to change him? I don't want him to think that all he is is a sex slave. But damn, I need the D. Shaking my head a little well. Thank you guys so much for any comments and all your advice. What you think? Ooh. Some people just don't have, no, I mean, don't want to fuck every day. I mean, he, first of all, he's he has an abnormal sex drive. Every day, multiple times a day. That's a lot. You might be having a little sex yeah. addiction. Yeah, like, yeah. I think it might That's be. That's a lot for anybody, <laughs> yeah. like, male or female, because, God damn it, shit. You I'm get tired after a while. Yeah, like, I, I ain't got that. Even when I was 24, and I was a fucking whore, <laughs> I 
wasn't trying to fuck all day, every damn day, at least a few times a week. But God damn it, every day, that's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Um, I feel like you have to get to a point of compromising with him. If As long as y'all are being intimate at least several times a week, I feel like that should be enough for you. You need to maybe need to go to a sex council or something to figure out why your libido so goddamn high. Well, you might have to just, I don't know. Shit, you might have to do something yourself. Yeah, maybe jerk off every day on days. I mean, to get off what you need. Don't cheat on the boy. But, um, yeah, maybe you need to jerk off to get some of that pent-up frustration out. But um, I don't want like you to get up. He is like he has. He is frustrated because he don't like the fact like that, yeah, because he's old boy ain't fucking him every day. I yeah. think you need some tea. <laughs> <laughs> Nighttime tea. Take your ass to bed. Get you some Shit. damn Benadryl pee, some Benadryl or something. No, nah, they had you sleeping a couple days. Hmm. When y'all are having sex, is he really pleasing you? Because you never said in here that like the sex is great or anything. Maybe it's okay sex, and maybe that's why he doesn't she feel says, He it. said it's nothing like those not late nights when he's in the mood. But that's when he's in the mood. And he got to get there, so all the other times it's pretty much hurry up and get it over with probably. Because you know, I'll be honest with you, ain't nothing more of a turn off than a motherfucker always hounding you for sex. So it's probably getting on his nerves. And it probably is why he's turned off and don't want to have sex with you so much. Because I know I don't like for motherfuckers asking me for sex all the goddamn time. Yeah, like Let me happen. be in the mood and want to. That's why when you said that late night when he in the mood is so good because he's ready. He didn't thought about it. He's ready. So let him miss you. Because when you fuck somebody all the time, it get old after a while. Because y'all done pretty much did everything now at this point. Definitely get old. Yeah, so... Allow yourself to miss him and for him to miss you and want you. So when y'all do have sex, that shit is explosive. Yeah, you just need to simmer it down a little bit. It's not so much him. I think that this is your issue, not his. So you need to simmer that hot box of yours down. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Why you over there trying to jiggy jiggy jerk it? <laughs> Last question. Hallelujah, because we've been filming. It's 11 o'clock. We've been filming for three hours now. We have an update. So we have an update from the viewer that sent us in the question and her husband financially well off. Her father gave her an inherit the inheritance when he died. She wanted to move to uh, the city in Miami in this beautiful condo, but the husband uh, doesn't like change and wants to stay where they're at. And he also feared that the people in the building wouldn't like them because they were the only black people. She sent us the video of the condo. We loved it. And we gave her some advice about how to get her husband to come on board. So she responded and said, Hey, Keisha Mo, before I start, I want to thank both of you for your for the advice you've given me. I have to say, I think I watched the video numerous times. And you guys have given me life. I have a happy and somewhat surprising update to my problem. After a week of arguments and makeup acrobats, we told you to fuck aerobics. him. I mean, oh, I said acrobats. <laughs> I got excited. Aerobics. I found out the reason he didn't want to move into the building, I wanted, it had nothing to do with money. He just doesn't want to live in the downtown area because of traffic. And he wants quiet when he gets home. So understandably, I was upset by all of this because he wasn't budging in, in, on it. My stepfather asked for an update on his decision. I told him he wasn't having it. So he told me, baby girl, I got you. Come to dinner this weekend, and I have a solution so both you can get what you want. So this past Saturday, I show up for dinner, and my husband and kids in tow. It starts off normal, eating with light conversation. Then, bam, my stepdad drops a bomb. He and my mom have decided they want to sell the family home to move into one of the newer condos close to the city. It's just too big of a house for just both of them, and they want something smaller. So my stepdad turns to my husband and says, Son, I think you and baby girl, me, should come check it out. It's 15 minutes away from where we currently live, and it has a light and has light traffic. My stepdad looks at me and says, Trust me. Sunday comes, and we meet, we meet my parents at the new condo sales office. We check out the floor plan along with the prices. It's 150 k cheaper, but that's only because the developer is a client at the firm. Instead of four bedrooms, we'll get three instead. My husband looks around the model and stays silent the entire time. I'm nervous. He looks at me and says, do you like it? I told him, yeah, I love it. Finally, he says, okay, we can live here. It'll be close to your parents and it's not as busy as the other option. We'll be moving in two months from now and we're currently picking out the finishes we want for our new home. Thanks for all your advice. Keep up the great work. If you both decide to come to Miami, send me an email. <laughs> Look at the 
Hey, I prayed over, girl. We got you your house. Look at God. What are you doing? Let's look at her new place. Oh, this is nice. That's nice. This is gorgeous. And it's $150,000 cheap, girl. This is nice and spacious. It's so chic and modern. And the lighting in this bitch is everything. I need to come film this motherfucker. I can imagine that. Yes. Yes. Y'all gonna fuck all over this house. You make sure you fuck the shit out of him when the kids is gone. This is beautiful. I'm so happy for y'all. Look at what's change your lives while that first bitch was fucking. I'm, while that first woman was hating. We end up helping. We happy for you, girl. That looks gorgeous. Send us some pictures when y'all get everything decorated. Send us a picture of everybody in the picture like, hey, we lose it all up. <laughs> Thank you so much for the update. We are so happy for you and your husband and your family. That is beautiful. Love to see black people out here doing it and making moves, honey. Um, if you all have a question for us, please send it to... I like her stepdad. Yeah, he, he married. Oh, yeah, he married. He your stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to for me. I don't try to say it is Sam Daddy, but if you got a cousin or a brother or a brother-in-law, I'm single and I don't look like this all the time. She's that bitch when she needs to be. So tell him I said, hello, oh, uh, we can be sisters-in-laws, girl. Anywho, uh, if you have a question, please send it to sisux1 at gmail.com. We love doing this, so please send us in your questions, and we will see you all next time. Love you. Bye. Bye.